Hi everyone, Adam here. I uh, hope you're all doing well. So what we're going to discuss today is desk ergonomics and having a proper desk setup. Because if any of you are like me, having to work at home at the moment due to this self-isolation. Um, and believe it or not, we are not designed to sit in front of a desk all day every day. So desk ergonomics, what that means is essentially putting the body in a position that is going to reduce the stress that's placed on the body. Uh, because over a long period of time, you know, an hour or two of bad posture isn't the end of the world, but if we're doing it for hours and hours or weeks and weeks on end, muscle imbalances and tensions occur and they can lead to injury. So what we're going to talk about is how to set this all up properly. So a bit of background information. Um, I've recently just moved house. and Actually, we moved house on the day that the self-isolation and the quarantine was announced, uh, which means that my setup at the moment is pretty naff. We're living on the, the bare essentials. So, I don't have the luxury of a, an adjustable chair or an adjustable standing desk or a proper monitor or anything like this. And I know for a fact that a lot of you are in a similar position. You're working on your kitchen table or worse, you're working in bed with a laptop on your lap, which is awful. So what we're going to do is talk about how we can set this all off because it, it, it does make a big difference in the long run. So, we're going to use my setup as an example. This is how I would approach it, okay? So, first things first. The chair, I've got a pretty basic chair here, okay? But starting here, what we want to look for is feet flat on the ground, which they are at the moment. So right off the bat, that's a good start. You don't want to be on your tiptoes. If you're like this, with your legs hanging, you're too high up. You've got to get lower down so your feet are flat, okay? Going into the knees, we want to see about a, your knees a little bit lower than the level of your hips, all right? So at the moment, this is about 90 degrees, which is we're too high, so I need to be lifted up a little bit. I need to, and again, I don't have an adjustable chair. So we'll get back to this in a second, okay? But if we're looking at height, again, elbows need to be about 90 degrees to the desk. So if I'm sitting here with my elbows at 90 degrees, too low, okay? So again, we can solve both of these problems by lifting me up a little bit. So handily, I've got a couple of pillows here. Let's see what happens. So sitting on those, straight away my knees are now lower than the level of my hips and this is what we're looking for, okay? I can still sit up straight and that's absolutely fine. Elbows at 90 degrees is now a little bit more in line with the level of the desk as well, okay? So I'm still quite nice and supported, so moving on now to the actual setup of the computer itself. Most of us are working on a laptop. If you have a home PC uh, at home then fantastic. You can, there's a little bit more maneuverability with this, but if you're on a laptop, then it gets a little bit tricky, okay? So, generally speaking, the screen needs to be just below eye level, and you can do this by getting the top of the screen should be at eye level, so the screen itself is just below. And the easiest way of doing this is you take three of your biggest anatomy textbooks, which I know you all have, and you're going to slide that there, and then you're going to put this here, all right? So that is about right. Maybe that could do with being a little bit higher, okay? But the screen is okay. I'm not having to slouch. I'm not having to crane my neck. What I can do is I can put the screen back a little bit, and that way it's in a little bit more of my eye line through there. Can't be doing this, of course, okay? So luckily, I do have a little portable um, keyboard here. This isn't ideal, but it does the trick, okay? You can buy them USB ones. You just plug in, and you've got a USB here. So this is... I, this is pretty good, this isn't too bad, okay? Um, the only downside is if I had a proper chair, as you can see this chair is pretty basic, it should have armrests. So for those of you that do have armrests, fantastic, you're already doing better than me. What you want to do is have these armrests at the level so they just slide underneath the level of the desk here. So you can put your arms down, you scoot in, and your arms should be flat with the desk. They shouldn't be too high, they shouldn't be too low, and you can type and do all of that stuff without straining your wrists or straining your elbows, okay? If you don't have one of these, this, this is when it becomes a problem, okay? Um, only way around that really is kind of a compromise. You can't have it too high, and if you have it too low, then it's not really doing anything at all. You want to have it somewhere in the middle. So, I would just suggest removing a couple of these and then just placing it like so, maybe adding one more through there. It's a little bit higher, again, it's, it's not ideal, but it, it's somewhere in the middle, okay? 
you can still type, it's not straining the wrists too much. What you can do if you find that there's, there's a lot of pressure happening here, you want to avoid carpal tunnel syndrome, things like that, you can just put a little towel or something just along here, all the way across so that it's just supporting your wrists. And this shouldn't be straining it too much. Again, screen back a little bit so it's in my eye line, get the balance right through here. It's in my eye line. If it's too far down, you're going to slouch. You want this to be facing you, so you're only having to look down just a little bit. This is not ideal, but if this is as good as it's going to get, then this is as good as it's going to get. You might be able to put that up a little bit higher, but then you run the risk of having to strain your wrist a little bit like that. Okay. In terms of the screen itself, let's just put these back. So in terms of the actual screen, we've already established that it needs to be just below eye level. Okay, so your head, your eyes can just angle down a little bit like that. In terms of the actual distance, you're looking for about 50 to 60 centimeters. Don't ask me where that number has come from, but that is the golden number apparently. Okay, so 50 to 60 centimeters. So for the sake of the video, I don't really expect you to have to do this. Okay, but just to give you an idea, if we were to look at say 60 centimeters, right there, from my eye line. There we go. There. So I can actually afford to get a little bit closer if I really wanted. So that's 60 centimetres away. Pop that there. So for me, personally, with this current setup, with this chair, with this laptop, this is probably about as good as it's going to get. Ideally, I would have more of an armrest. I would maybe stack something up at the sides here, but unless I want to barricade myself in, it's kind of pointless. Um, I might put a little cushion or something here just to help protect my wrists, but this isn't too bad. Again, it's, it's dealing with what you've got at hand. Um, I would say that an external sort of a, a USB keypad keyboard would be pretty handy. Otherwise, this setup doesn't really work particularly well. You do want to have a good supported back as well. You don't want to be leaning like this because, again, you slouch. You do want to be upright as best as you can. That's why it's important having this at the same sort of eye level. If it's too high, you're craning the neck. If it's too low, you're going to start dropping down like this. Again, this is making the best of a bad situation, and it's, it's, that's just working in front of the desk, generally speaking. It's never going to be perfect. You're always going to run the risk of developing tension in your hips or shoulders rounding forward. But all of these little tricks are just to try and keep your body going. Either way, it doesn't matter whether your desk setup is perfect. You still want to be getting up every, every half an hour or so, really, just for a few minutes, just to stretch out. It's the sustained posture that's when things start to tighten. So if you're sitting down for too long in the same, same position for too long of a time, that's when things start to, muscles cramp up and they tighten up. And then when you do go to move, they get pulled quite taut, and that's when injuries might start to happen, okay? So a little bit of movement is, is useful. You can set something on your phone just to go off every half an hour, even if it means just going down to up and down the stairs, make yourself a cup of tea, go to the toilet, whatever it is, it just, uh, just keeps things moving, okay? Anyway, this is probably as good as it's going to get for me. There's not really too much else I can do. Again, I'm kind of quarantined. I do have a better USB keyboard, but that's being stored at my parents' house, and obviously I can't go around and pick it up, so this is going to have to do for now, okay? Anyway, I hope this helps. Hopefully the stuff we've spoken about should be enough for you to set yours up at home and prevent any future injuries from happening. But by all means, if you have any problems at all, if you're struggling or you're getting any aches and pains, things that are new that you weren't struggling with before, but now that you're working at home in a different environment, you're starting to struggle with, give me a call, go onto my, my website. It's www.backpainsolutions.co.uk. You can book an online form uh, for a, a phone consultation, we can have a chat about it. It might just be some simple little tricks like this, or a few stretches, and job done, who knows. So if you're in need of having a chat with me, just give me a call, okay? Anyway, hope you're staying safe and having a nice day. Maybe I'll see you later. Bye-bye.